All right, gonna do a quick race recap on the left-hander chassis. So we ended up going out uh, Saturday with the car. And like I talked about in the other video, I needed to make some changes. So what I did before we went out to the race is I changed the left front shock from a five on compression, 14 on rebound, to a five on compression, nine on rebound, to help loosen up the rebound, to give us more traction in the rear. So I did that, and then I changed the rear springs from a 200-175 to a 200-200. So I did that. I changed the cross weight in the car a little bit. And what else did I do? Sway bar adjustment. The stagger was about the same, about just over an inch and a quarter and two and three quarter. And I raised the pan hard bar a quarter of an inch. So I did a bunch of small changes um just had to try something so made all the small changes we went out saturday first of all it was super hot saturday it was like 92 degrees with like 101 real feel all freaking day and the heat did not go away when it became night kind of cloud cover came in and it was just insanely hot they were talking about not doing the heat races because it was so hot. They were worried about kind of driver safety, but we ended up doing the heat races as well. But anyways, back to the racing. So we get there, basically you have two practices, uh, then qualifying, and then a heat race in your feature. So first practice, we went um, basically a bunch of 1470s, which is great. That's, that's in the ballpark of where I want to be. Um, that's a lot better than what we thought we were on Thursday, which I really think Thursday was like a 15 teen, 15 0, 15 2. So we picked up anywhere between three and five tenths. That's, that's huge. Our improvements definitely worked. Um, so perfect. Made some small tweaks. Going to second practice, exact same numbers. Nothing changed. So I'm like, all right, well, the car had a little bit of a push still and was just a little bit loose off of the corner but not bad but it was a little loose for sure but way drivable way way better than what it was before so qualified we qualified a 14705 which is pretty much identical what we were run, running in the heat races or i'm sorry what we were running in the practices so still kind of torn the car was decently quick but I was having to drive it a lot. It had that push, and it was definitely a little bit loose off of four. It may have gotten a little worse, but but just it was kind of I was questioning if it got worse or not. So made a few more changes to try to fix the loose and the push, which you're kind of fighting against themselves. So normally a problem that'll help you when the car's loose is going to make it worse on a push, but. The way I like to look at it, and I've kind of just recently came up with this, is the loose was in the back of the car, the push was in the front of the car, so try to separate them that way if I can. Anyways, um, we ended up qualifying second with that 14.70, but the next guy was like a 14.71, so really, really tight, and the next guy was like a 14.73, so the top four cars were really, really, really close in qualifying, but the number one car was actually, I should reword that, the, the first three were really tight. The number one qualifier was like a tenth and a half quicker, so he, he was definitely faster than the rest of us. But the car that qualified fourth had actually went like a 1559 or 1563 in practice, so we knew he could be faster kind of think he strategized to qualify slower for a better start position and we'll get to that here in a minute so anyways the heat race we started fourth we finished third um, didn't really go anywhere but didn't really lose any ground so we're okay with that the heat race is really just another test and you guys got to remember it's the first time out with this car so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it and I also did not want to get into anyone I didn't want to push anything I'm really using this as a glorified test session, so I wasn't going to try to do anything stupid, and I didn't. I was honestly too cautious with my driving, but I knew I would be. This is just the first time out. So going into heat race, 
I'm really debating if I should change some things around on the car. I was really thinking about putting that 225 in the left rear to give me a little bit more bite off the corner. And I kept telling myself, just go ahead and do it. But I was concerned because I didn't know what my cross weight was going to be. I knew that was going to throw off my cross weight and all I could do is give it my best guess. So I decided not to, but up until the last moment, I was still going back and forth. But also the car, when we started it for the heat race, it was like it had no accelerator pump. You'd give it throttle and it wouldn't do anything. It would just bog. But after about a minute of running, as we're pulling out for our heat race, it went away. And in the heat race, it seemed to be fine. But when I was pulling off the track, it kind of stumbled a little bit. So in between the heat race and the feature, I pulled the carburetor all apart. I was trying to figure out what was going on there. I made a few adjustments. Um, so now we'll move on to the feature. So we get pulled out onto the track for the feature. Well, it's championship night. So they're doing a, a bunch of extra stuff. So we were literally in the car for like 15, 20 minutes, just pouring sweat out on the track, waiting for them to start the race. I had loosened up my seat belts because I'm just sitting there kind of scrunched into the car and they finally get the race going and I can't pull them down tight enough. So I'm, I'm literally on the one to go lap trying to cinch the seat belts down tight that was a mistake on my part they they were tight they just weren't tight enough to drive comfortably so that was a lesson learned the other problem was the guy that was going to start front row outside decided that he wanted to start in the back because it was a strategy that would give him a better starting position because the track had no high side groove high side was not working at all the track was way too slick so then they put me front row outside which which messed up our game plan big time and in that moment I thought in the car I'm like no I'm just gonna sit here and hold my position someone else wants to take that front row outside let them take it and that that thought lasted for like 10-15 seconds and I'm just like you know what whatever I'll go for it um the problem was I'd already strategized what I was going to do, and this just threw a wrench in it. So then my new strategy would be you got to jump the guy, um, which means when you come out of four, there's a white line. You're supposed to go at the white line. Everyone jumps it. I need to jump it before him to try to cut down in front of him before corner one or get it done coming out of two. That was my strategy, and I like cracked the throttle to do it, and I chickened out. You can see it in the video. You can hear it. Um, I'll probably post the video up later. I just, I was just being a chicken. I, I should have just did it. And it was lack of experience because I started to crack the throttle and I couldn't see the guy anymore. So I thought he didn't go. But how it is, is he turns down. So he goes out of my vision anyways. And of course he went wide open and I just didn't realize it. So he gets a good jump on me. And we ended up going right back to the fourth place position in about a half a lap because we got, well, about three quarters to one lap because we got stuck on the outside, which is fine, is what it is. We'll battle, battle our way up from there. Well, the third place car, which is the one that kind of put us in that position, which it was a good strategy. I'm not, not knocking him for it, but I'm not going to let it happen to me again. Um, if someone wants to play that strategy, that's cool. Now I know but I'm going to play that same strategy right back to him. That's, that's fine. Um, but he's holding me up. Is He's supposed to start in front outside. He's now in front of me, and he's slower, and he's stuck on the bottom. And I don't have enough confidence in the car in my abilities yet to really push it. So I got like two inches off his bumper and one and two, and then I'd have to jump on the brakes, and then he'd take off, and I'd lose my momentum. So then I started trying the outside a little bit, and there was just no no grip. I could get to his right rear quarter panel. We'd come off the corner. I just had no grip. I couldn't get anywhere. So I tied back in behind him. And watching the video, I wasn't as close to him as what I thought I was. But every time we'd get into one and two, I'd get on the brakes hard because I thought he was accelerating so slow off the corner that if I nailed the gas to accelerate, I was going to run into him. I don't know if I would or wouldn't have. It would have been close. So at that moment, I decided, hey, I'm going to back off the throttle, let there be a gap, a couple cars, and, and just run a few fast laps. 
And and like right as I thought that, I'm like, wait a minute, no, no, no. What I'm gonna do is just hang back here with like a two two car link gap in between us and conserve tires to the end. Let these guys run hard up in front of me, let someone wreck, let their tires go away, we'll have something at the end. So that was my final strategy. But after about 12 laps, I realize that that gap I've given them, I'm not closing now. I'm like, "Uh uh-oh, our tires are going away. So I kind of really start to get after it, and and the car is just breaking loose hard. Basically, we lost all rear grip. I I could not get off the corner. So it worked out that way. We ended up finishing fourth. Kind of is what it is, but it's not a bad bad thing at all we just needed to get laps in the car we learned a lot we definitely got out strategized both on qualifying and on starting position so lesson learned there and then also lesson learned is i should have made adjustments to the car before the feature i have no doubt in my mind that 225 spring was the right call to try but we also did need a shock change so Yesterday, I made the 225 spring change, and I also made a shock change on the right front. Um, The other thing about this is these tires are at least a year old on the ones that we know, and the other ones are probably two years old. So we're on some really old tires. Um, The other guys were complaining that their tires were five weeks old. I wish we had five-week-old tires. So it is what it is. We had a great time. The car's in one piece. Um, No real damage. But I do, actually, I don't think there's any damage at all. But I do need to go over the car really well. Just check everything out. I want to look at that carburetor again. I got to add some more bracing. That was another thing about it, is I knew if I really got into anyone much or someone got into me, I didn't have enough bracing on the front nose or the rear bumper. Not from a safety aspect at all. The car's completely safe. Just from a keeping the bumpers on the car standpoint and not, letting them get destroyed so we learned some lessons um all in all went really well it took a ton out of everyone man was it hot that was definitely definitely one of the hottest racing experiences i've had to deal with and i've been in some hot ones so i think that'll be about it for tonight i just wanted to give you guys kind of an update and say everything went really well we had a lot of fun the car is decently quick um, I mean, we qualified second. That's not bad. And there's definitely a lot left in it. But now it's it gets a little bit more difficult from here. Is I think we got a base set up in the car. And now you just got to start tweaking at it. And as track conditions change, it, it's going to change what you need to do to the car. So I've got a lot to learn. But we did have a lot of fun. It was good to get it out. I plan on making some more changes on it the next week or so. And then here in a couple weeks, they have their blowout race. They do change the rules around for that race, but I'm leaving our car exactly the way it is to the rules for the class we run because all I care about is making the car faster. I really don't care um, if the other guys pull all the weight out of their car and they're, they're faster and that trim because I'm trying to set this car up for next year. So we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys updated, but I figured I'd let you guys know We did pretty well. We did decent, I should say. Um, We got a lot more to learn, but in all in all, went pretty well. So happy with that. I'm going to keep working on this thing and just figured I'd let you guys know where we're at. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep it saucy.